So now that we have discussed about areas of plane figures, we are also going to enter into the three-dimensional concept of finding the surface area of a cube or a cuboid. We all know what a cube or a cuboid is. It is in the form of a box. Now we'll see how we can find the area and volume of cube and co cuboids in this session of the topic. Now, when we enter into the areas of plane figures, the areas obtained in plane figures were all two-dimensional structures, hence it was easier to find in case of 2D structures. Now, what is a three-dimensional structure? Why do we call a cuboid as a three-dimensional structure? Because you can handle it in hand and hang it in air. So a three-dimensional subject is something which you can feel it. But a two-dimensional subject or a two-dimensional plane figure is only something which you can draw on a sheet of paper but you cannot take that out in the air. So this is how I differentiate between a 2D or a three-dimensional structure. So in this case, I have drawn the three-dimensional structure of a cuboid or a box. So let me take a box which has the open cap which can be closed and this has the dimensions length, breadth and height. Now when I just open this box, when I just tear the, each of the edges and then I open, I get this kind of a shape where the open top is obtained like this and the down part is obtained down here. <clears throat> and each of the six, four faces down are taken in this form. As in each of the case of a box face opened up, opens in this manner. So the face in the front is this, the face in the side is this, and the face which is opposite to that on the other side is this, and the face on the left of the side is this. And the open top is this and the down open cap is this. So this is how I obtain the box when it is open and put flat on the ground. So let's try to find the area of this cuboid indirectly by finding each of the areas of the blocks as we have done in case of two dimensional plane figures like a quadrilateral a survey of the field. We have just divided them into blocks and we found the areas and then we summed up we got the area of the entire field. Similarly. I'll find the area of each of the regions and then sum up to get the area of the entire cuboid, the surface area of the entire cuboid. So this is how the concept runs. But before this, because the length of the cuboid is L, breadth is B and height is H, let's try to divide each of the regions with their respective dimensions. Now as this is L and this is the front face of the box, this would also be L. Now this is width B, so because this side face is just the strip this, so therefore this would be the dimension B. Then in that case, the one which is at the back will be L because whatever is the dimension of the front face will also be for the back face. So this will be L, this will be B, L and when this is B, even this left side of the face will have its dimension as B. Now similarly, when I just go through, when this is L, this is also L, hence this will be L and this would be B and with similar dimensions as L and B. But what will this be? Because the height of the box is H, when you open, the height maintains its constancy. Therefore, this would be the height of the box, which would be H as taken from the cuboid dimensions. So as you got the dimensions of each of the case, where this is H, so this will also be H. Now I have totally five, re six regions where this is region 1, R1, R2, R3, R4, R5 and R6. But what would this dimension be? Now because this is B, this is L and this is B, this will also be B with L. When this is L, this would be dimension B, the width and this would also be dimension B. So taking each of the regions with the diagrams, so I have to find area of region R. The region R1 is nothing but a rectangular strip as can be seen here with L and H. So therefore <coughs> my H and L will give me the area of rectangle. But this is nothing but area of R1 is nothing but area of rectangle which is nothing but length into width which is LH. Therefore, my area of region R1 is LH. So let's find area of region R2. 
as I can clearly see my region R2 is also a thinner strip with my width as B and my height as H. So this would be B and this would be H. Therefore, area of R2 is nothing but area of rectangle but this being with dimensions B and H will be length into breadth which is B into H that is BH. So this would be area of region R2. So let's also find region R3. Now as I see in R3 is also I can clearly see that area of region R1 will be nothing but area of region R3. Both are same. As I can see here, both are of similar strips. So area of region R1 is equal to area of region R3 and area of region R2 is equal to area of region R4. Therefore, area of region R3 will be nothing but area of region R1, which is already obtained from here as LH, the same dimensions. Similarly, when I take R4, I have area of region R4 is nothing but area of region R2, which is already obtained in the previous case as BH. Therefore, I get this as area of region R2. If I take a box and take the opposite side, then I get the same. So I get this to be region R2, which is BH. And hence, we got R1 to R4. Now, area of region R5 is equal to area of region R6, because when you take the box, the upper and the lower areas are similar. So let's find the area of region R5. So for this, my region R5 is a rectangle with the dimensions L and B. So therefore, that implies area of region R5 is nothing but a rectangle with its dimensions length into breadth. So this is area of rectangle with the dimensions length into breadth. So I get LB as the area of the region R5. But because the region R5 and region R6 are with similar areas, therefore my R6 is with equal area as that of region R5. Therefore, area of region R6 is nothing but area of region R5, which we already calculated in the previous case is LB. Hence, I get this to be LB. Now, I have totally six regions whose areas have been calculated starting with region R1 which is LH, R2 is BH, R3 is LH, R4 is BH, R5 is LB and R6 is LB. Now if I add all these six regions, I get the surface area of the cuboid, the total surface area of the cuboid which is nothing but when taken joined back gives me a box with the open with the upper and down lid closed. So this is how I get the cuboid by summing up each of the areas. So let's see what would be the formula which I derive for total surface area of a cuboid by adding each of its area.